checking everything's okay and getting more importantly those tires up to temperature in an effort to make sure that that first lap you get all the grip you need because by the time you get the mandarin flat out in that first lap you better have your tires up to grip uh, an optimal temperature to get that grip otherwise you slam yourself into the wall and even the greats have been doing it in qualifying Andy Prio losing it on the last corner in yesterday's first qualifying session for the World Touring Car so even the greats are susceptible low car five as I mentioned one of the favorites Charles Ung row three Andy Yan Eureka Dejiji in sixth position Lee Kit Meng in seventh the Carlyoy in eighth position Ian Van Lyon, winner here last year in the Fortuna race Philip de Souza I say that <laughs> somebody spun round but luckily nobody caught up with him so then the Chevrolets have the MW of number 19 Nick Carlyoy has got away well he's still there the top 10, Kenneth Lau just passing our commentary position. The tie driver pit, number 33, P2, still in contention. And Lloy, number 13, is still there too. Still to come, of course, on the first day of the 57 Macau Grand Prix, we have the big race of the day, the Motorcycle Grand Prix, the 44th edition of the Motorcycle Grand Prix, as Michael Rutter tries to make it into the record books. He's under big pressure from the likes of Stuart Easton and another winner, John McGuinness. There's also, of course, the first qualification race of the big event of tomorrow, which is the FIA Formula 3 Intercontinental Cup. Always a World Cup for Formula 3 to decide who will be champion of Macau. And this year, one man, Eduardo Mortara, is trying to get into the record book by coming, becoming the first man to get back-to-back -back victories in the Formula 3. Formula 3, of course, started here in 1983 when Ierton Senna, you might have heard of him, won the first race. There have been returning winners. Jeff Lees have done it. Ricardo Patrese's done it. John McDonald did it back in the early 70s. And Arsenio Laurel. Dodgy Laurel, as he was known, back in 1962 and 1963. Terms as they head towards staff by Andy Yan, the man who qualified fifth is right there in second place now, and he's not going to allow Paul Poon to just run away with this at all. Green flags waved at Donna Maria. So hope everybody got through the dust. And look at the gap the top three have. Here's the first incident. There goes through the leader, throwing up the smoke, and yeah. It was fourth place. Could have been Erna. Can't quite see the number from here. But we'll soon find out as soon as we cross the line again. Paul Boone then wins in the number 31. And is that an ominous message for what's to come in the world touring cars later in the weekend? Great victory for him. And despite the safety cars where that's really going to play into the hands of those chasing, Paul put up with the pressure and came through well. But hats 